Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dion back with another recap as well as a daily lineup for today, February 23rd. Um, before I really get into any of the discussion about the players and picks I'm going with, um, I just want to apologize for not dropping any content yesterday. I wasn't feeling too good, and I almost didn't drop a video today. But um, it's like, man, we can't go two days without uh, any content, man. I know people uh, subscribe for a reason. They want to see what you're going with. So I'm like, uh... It's time to get back into it, man. I'm sorry for the uh, sorry for that once again. We definitely will be dropping content consistently. I, I know I always say that sometimes that I might like every other week or so I might not drop a video, but I'm definitely doing my best to. So uh, without further ado, let's talk about these players right now. Um, Russell Westbrook, not too good of. I mean, well, I almost said not too good of a game. He was pretty much owned by everybody. Great game. I was hoping for 60, but you can't be mad. He's owned by everybody. So, uh, uh, Mike Conley, I knew this, I knew this would be a sleeper. He would be low, low owned, um, cause of what he's, his production has been like before the all-star break, but I knew coming back, uh, his wrist, um, held pretty much. Um, he was hampered by that injury. So he definitely need that rest. And I'll see, he'll probably be back to, he'll probably be back to around, uh, 6,800, 7,000 in no time once the production goes up. Um, Victor Oladipo, disappointed, man, I guess because of Tobias Harris. So, um, I thought even with Tobias Harris playing, I thought because the Sixers weren't too good against shooting guards, they have such a, he'll have a way better game. But, um, it was really mainly just because of, um, turnovers that killed him. And he's just not doing any, any, uh, he's just not, like, excelling in just one area, for, so to say. So, uh, definitely got to watch out, man. 6,900, I can't believe I paid up for it. But, I mean, hey. I still cast out. I probably would have cast out more if I would have went uh, Courtney Lee and paid up for something someplace else, or if I would have just went with uh, Ronnie Stuckey and paid up someplace else. But um, can't be too mad. Um, Clay Thompson. Uh, you already know his usage rate was gonna go through the roof with Steph Curry out. K. Gilchrist got 22 points, pretty decent. He did get body back. Um, Richard Jefferson got the dunk of the year on him, even though it was called the offensive foul. Uh, Hollis Thompson, uh, sleeper. I knew he was going to be high on. Look at him. 0.7% owned him. Ibaka, his juices rate is going through the roof. And they just have that rhythm, man, at home. I knew they was going to blow out the Nuggets. The Nuggets, just, I don't know what's wrong with these guys, but they just can't put it together. Like, the chemistry's not there. They're not playing for Brian Shaw. Like, they just giving up on the season, basically. The New Orleans Noel got a nice little 28 from him. It's pretty decent. Um. And then Tyler Zeller, I expect him more, man. The foul trouble kind of hampered him, too. He, he's coming out in critical moments. And pretty good, man. I won $3. I actually had another line where I won 250 But since I'm doing this a day late, I didn't feel like opening multiple tabs to show my other my other winnings. So without, let's get into the new lineup. Uh, this is what I'm going with right now. D-Rose, Milwaukee, just not... They can't. They're not going to be able to guard Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose home splits are crazy. He's on the, at home, he's averaging I think 19 and six, and they're playing a Milwaukee Bucks team with no with no uh real defender for the point guard position. Jared Bayless is he's not going to be able to contain D Rose. Then next, I like Darren Williams. Uh, just that it's just really value, man. I have to go with him if he's going to play 40 minutes with uh Jared Jack out. Can't go wrong there. With this, I think his backup Darius Millis. What is his backup's name? We'll see it right now. Hold on. It's something. Oh, Darius Morris. Excuse me. Uh, 3,500. He's not gonna get no playing time in games like this, man. So I expect Darren Williams. His juices rate is gonna go through the roof. It's probably be. It's probably gonna dominate the ball most likely. Uh, the next, I like Kevin Martin in a high scoring, high paced game with the Houston Rockets. Him being guarded by James Harden. You can't. You can never go wrong with uh. Pick anybody that James Harden is guarded, man. So, uh, definitely like Kevin Martin. He's just jacking up a bunch of shots. Eventually, they're going to keep falling. So, um, he's he's a streaky player, too. So, I definitely like Kevin Martin. Um, the next, Eric Bledsoe, man. I love Eric Bledsoe whenever he's at home. As long as his price stays stays at 8500 or less, I could play him because he's, he's almost guaranteed 40 points at home. So, I definitely love Eric Bledsoe. He's definitely going to dominate the ball with, uh, with Goran Dragic and Isaiah Thomas out, he's definitely going to probably play a lot more minutes. So I like Eric Bledsoe. Then Luol Deng as my sleeper pick that most people won't probably, that he'll probably be under, probably be around 5-6% owned, I think Luol Deng will be. So I definitely like him. Um, 
Didn't really feel like paying up for small forwards. I did go Andrew Wiggins mainly because of the high scoring threat. So it's going to be a high pace, high scoring game. The only thing I'm scared of, man, I hope I hope he doesn't have to guard James Harden all game. And then that takes away from him being able to get rebounds and things of that nature. So, Because I'm pretty sure they will put James Harden on him. But I still think Andrew Wiggins can get his off. Probably get around 35 points. So I definitely want to secure at least 35 to 40 points with Andrew Wiggins. So I'm not really confident in these other small forwards today. Right now you see Wilson Chandler. He's a game time decision. He's a game time decision. He most likely won't play. So um, you could also uh, and these look these these minutes are not secure. Trevor Reza, if he if Corey Brewer gets it going, then he doesn't play. PJ Tucker, you never know what that rotation is gonna. Twenty six minutes, you never know. Like you can't you can't really pick the production with these guys. So I want to go safe. With two players, I know is going to get 30, uh, 30 plus minutes in Luau Dang and Wiggins. Um, next, I like Zach Randolph, man. He's really a clipper killer. I mean, he usually dominates Blake Griffin. So, with Spencer Hawes, someone who is lackluster defensively, he's just going to have his way with him all night. And, you know, DeAndre Jordan and Marcus are going to kind of cancel each other out, which means definitely like Zebo. Uh, he should definitely go for 45 to 50 points against these guys. I expect something like 17 and 15 or something like that. Probably a few assists. Um, and just the Clippers give up a lot of points in general. So uh, definitely like Zebo. Then next, I like Derek Favors. He he is definitely... Uh, the Spurs aren't that good. I mean, the Spurs are pretty decent against power forwards. But he's definitely playing a lot of center when, uh, when Rudy Gobert comes off the floor. So... We can go look at this right here. If Rudy, Go- Rudy Gobert continues to play 24, 27 minutes, and their favors, look what he's playing. He's definitely playing 36, man, and not putting Trevor Book at uh, center. So uh, Derek Favors is going to get a lot of playing time at center, and the Spurs are pretty terrible against center. So I definitely like him there. And then this Alex Lynn is my value pick. Um... Boston aren't too good against big men, and I just know that Alex Len minutes and his production has been through the roof. Uh, we could take a look at that real quick. I'm looking like a game log fiend right now, but it doesn't matter. 34, 34 minutes, 35 minutes. Production 30, 33, 24, man. And that was against and Chicago. That one was on the road against a good defensive team uh, and a good defender in Joakim Noah. So that's kind of a different situation where Boston Celtics aren't that good, So um, especially against big men. And it's going to probably be a high-scoring game where you can get some easy buckets. And if I pick Eric Bledsoe, I'm, he obviously, Eric Bledsoe is not just one a person who uh, gets all his stats from just uh, scoring and so. He really gets it everywhere, like assists, still. So that's definitely going to lead to transition and things of that nature. So this is the lineup I'm going with. Um, didn't mean to talk to you guys' ears off. And I would appreciate if you guys follow me on Twitter at DailyFDLineups. I will leave an annotation on below and leave it in the description so you guys can follow me there man for last minute changes and things I might things I might like and if you want to talk to me about other things uh pertaining to fantasy uh draft fantasy sports it's no problem um and, well, and I just appreciate everybody who's subscribing right now I'm at 215 subscribers man it means a lot coming from where I come like in two months man I gained about probably like a hundred and like eighty subscribers so uh Definitely appreciate everybody who tunes in, leaves uh, support, uh, leaves feedback, and supports me. So that's about it, man. I'm out of here. Peace.